recording. Hi, RSU students. My name is Sarah Adcock, and this is an enrollment workshop for you. Just a quick guide on how to enroll in your classes for the next semester. So you can get those done now, get the classes and the times you want, and move on with the rest of the year. So I'll let everyone introduce themselves, and we'll get started. Hello there, I'm Ashley Bean. I'm the first year experienced librarian, so I'm kind of your personal librarian for your first year at RSU. Uh, always happy to help you with any research if you're stuck finding a source on our website. Um, but today I'm here just using the library Zoom account to host this event uh, with some wonderful information for you guys. Hi, I'm Eliana Sparza. I am your director of diversity and inclusion here at Roger State University. Hi, I'm Ashley Howerton. I'm the assistant registrar of the registrar's office and I help with enrollment, transcripts, and any question you may have, we'll try to get you in the right spot. So today I'm going to show you how to actually enroll on my RSU. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. So when you're on my RSU, once you've logged in, you'll want to click on the students tab and that'll bring you to the student's homepage. And you'll see on this page, we do have a brief how to register online instructions and then also a video. So if this video isn't quite enough and you need to refer to the other video, you can definitely do that. So once you have clicked the students tab, on the left, you're gonna wanna click advising and registration. Then you'll click You'll actually have to click the complete personal information update and the complete registration agreement form, and those will be located in this area. Once you've completed both of those, then you'll be able to click add drop courses. Um, to narrow down a course, you don't want to put in too many narrow, like too many categories to narrow it down because then you'll get no results. So what you can do is for instance, if we're going to add comp two, we'll type in ENGL. We'll make sure we do have the correct term selected. So this term is spring of 2020 to 2021. And then you'll just click search. From there, they are in numerical order. So you can look for the section courses, the section that your advisor potentially gave you. Or if you don't have the specific section number, then you can just look on the right hand side and see the day, time, and campus location. And then you would just check the box next to the course you would like to add and then click add courses. So once you do that, you'll see the successfully added to registration record. And then you'll also see the course under your schedule. And so then you'll just repeat that step. So now we'll add a science course. So I'm going to add a biology course, so B-I-O-L, and then click search. And with biology courses or science courses, you typically have to have a lab. And so you'll want to actually add those at the same time, and that just makes it a little bit easier. So same thing, we'll just check the box by both courses we want to add, and then click add courses once. And then both of those courses were successfully added and then we'll see them again down here underneath our schedule. If you want to search but maybe by professor or specific days and times, you can click the advanced search and then reset to make sure it resets all of the categories. And then for instance, if we wanted to choose um, Renee Cox as our professor, we could choose her and then click search. So that's another way you can narrow down. And then you can always just click search again. But it's as easy as that to enroll in classes. That's all I have, unless you guys maybe have questions. I think that'll do it. Um, Elena, do you have any student insider tips that others may find helpful? Yeah, absolutely. So for enrolling, I think the biggest thing is make sure that you're aware of your limits. So it does take 15 hours a semester to graduate within four years, but take it slow if you have to at first. So you can kind of get in the groove of really what works for you. 
And then after the semester, I really recommend creating a four year plan. So that's you'll just sit down, you can do it by yourself, or you can sit down with an advisor and schedule out all of your classes for the next four years. So you can graduate on time if that's something that you're trying to aim for. I think that's my biggest piece of advice. Just make sure you take care of yourself. Awesome, really good advice. Um, well, I think that's all we have for you today. Students, best of luck finishing the semester going into the next semester, and I hope you have a great day. Go Hillcats.